Thank you. Overseas now, February's summit with President Trump may have led to the execution of North Korea's nuclear negotiator. That is the word from a South Korean newspaper that reports Kim Jong-un purged top officials over the outcome of those talks. Correspondent Benjamin Hall looks into this report from London. A brutal purge by a brutal dictator. Kim Jong-un reportedly executing top officials following the failure of the second summit with President Trump. According to South Korean media, Kim yok chol North Korea's top nuclear envoy to the U.S., was executed by firing squad, along with four others, including the translator. The U.S. is now working to confirm the reports. We've seen the reporting to which you're referring. We're doing our best to uh, check it out. The purge went further. Kim yong chol considered North Korea's foreign secretary and Kim Song-hee, who led the preparations for the summit, both reportedly sent to a labor camp. It doesn't bode well for future talks. It's hard not to see this as, as potentially a, a uh, fatal setback for the negotiations. The news comes as the top American nuclear envoy, Stephen Began, meets with counterparts from South Korea and Japan to coordinate their response to recent provocations from the North. Defense Secretary Shanahan also weighed in. There are things that we have to work on as it relates to North Korea. I think uh, when, when we leave these meetings and conclude the visits, that will be in a, in a better place. The White House says President Trump is ready to return to the bargaining table, but only if denuclearization is the main talking point. He's held fast to the uh, position he's expressed there that uh, he wants to see all of uh, North Korea's uh, nuclear weapons program eliminated. So I think his position is very clear. There remains growing concern that the recent diplomacy could be reversed. Just in the last month, North Korea has tested short-range ballistic missiles and boosted its angry rhetoric towards America, calling John Bolton a warmonger and human defect. If true, this purge is not only a reminder of the murderous nature of the regime, but also shows us what a failure the Hanoi summit was for North Korea and Kim Jong-un personally. The negotiators went with the aim of getting sanctions relief, but they left with nothing. Brett? Benjamin Hall in London. Benjamin.